Hi, I want to show this project I made. Um, it's called Two Gr Crying Green V Forms, and it shows your dining dollars over time. Um, I made this because this old app, Try and Dine, uh, stopped working because HDH didn't want people, I guess, the app to access people's dining dollar balances over time. But I stopped working on this project because I don't. I'm one of the few people who didn't get second year housing next year, so I don't really need this app anymore. But maybe if someone else wants to pick up my very hastily written code, then they can. Um, and so how this works is that on this account transactions page, if you click search, um, it shows you all of your transactions over time. Uh, with like the amount and which account where you lost where you spent the money and when um it mostly for you it's probably mostly like losing money because you're spending it but sometimes you can gain money uh by turning in trying to go boxes like here but well, not here here um and so what the chrome extension does since the app, I think, probably used like some server that you like give them your login info and then it signs in for you. It's like phishing, but uh, with extra steps. Here, since the Chrome extension has direct access to this page, if you can see this table, so can the extension. And so, what the extension, the Chrome extension does it is it manually like clicks through every single page, waits for the table to load, which takes a while, and then it like reads everything in this table and slaps it into this uh, database on your computer. So that when you click on the dining dollar analysis tab, the graph shows basically instantly. Um, yeah. So let's see. Um, so far, what I've done is, there is there's two parts. First, there was rendering this graph, but this graph doesn't automatically update. You can see that it stops at like um, March because you have to manually update, manually like scrape for um, your account transactions. So I think it's like main, let me see. Yeah, here's the code that um, gets all of your transactions. So it basically opens an iframe on the page. Why did the page stop working? I don't know. Yeah, OK, it opens an iframe to this page. Um, And why it's lagging a lot? It's so sad. It, yeah, okay. So it opens an iframe containing the transactions page and it clicks the search button. And then, yeah, it goes through the table page by page and it gets each of these uh, rows and saves them to the index DB the database. And so once it does that, then the graph page gets the transactions and displays it like this. Um, let's see. So there's a weird bug with the website is that if you have, so you can change the search filters to go back to like September or August or whatever. Here, July. So this will list all of your transactions. It takes a while to load, I think, because the website is slow. Um, and so, yeah, as you can see, there's like 600, oh no, 42 pages, but apparently once after you click through 10 pages, like it doesn't matter which order you go in or like if you skip pages or not, after switch, uh, like switching pages 10 times, the website just stops working. So you have to like start a new search again. Um, so that's one issue I came into, came across. I think that was about it, though. Um, yeah. Rendering the graph is hard. Like, look, look at this time axis. It's duplicating months. I don't know. I think it's because it's trying to do two weeks at a time, but I never really finished the time axis. I'm trying to make it smart by, like, figuring out what scale to use based on how big your computer screen is, but whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. The graph is interesting. So you can see that like that my I already had dining dollars before I moved in. I slowly started using it, and then here is um, when the dining hall wait times are so bad that 
HDH just transferred 100 of them into Triton Cash. So you can see a $10, $100 drop in uh, dining dollars here. And I think this is Thanksgiving break. It would be normally like completely flat, but on one day, my parents came to one of the dining halls and I ordered uh, for all of them. So that was a big, somewhat big drop. And then here you can see winter break. Um, I moved in on January 1st during remote learning, so I think for most people, their line would probably extend a lot further to like February. Um, and then I think this is spring break. No, that doesn't make sense. Spring break hasn't happened yet. I don't know what happened here. Um, what did he even, I think it went up because I turned in pops. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I can change it to, um, wait, to try and cash because that might be interesting. Up. Oh, it's hard to code it. Pain. I have to edit the code. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that still need to be done. So. I think currently there is like there already exists a calculator that where you can like input how many dining dollars you have left and it will tell you how much you should spend per day. Um, that's really easy to calculate. You just like divide by the number of days left or something. But what I want to do with this graph, or what I wanted to do, is like um, do like some fancy like math, like do like a little linear regression and figure out when you'll run out of dining dollars based on how much you've been spent or how fast you've been spending things, maybe. Or actually, I'm not even sure if a linear regression. Yeah, I think you need a linear regression because depends on how it depends on how fast you spend things. Um, and yeah, I don't know. You could do some cool things with this, or like show. I mean, seeing your past history with dining dollars is pretty cool in in and of itself. So um, yeah, and also I named this the two crying two crying green V forms because. It was just named after the draft catchers at UCSD because the Stewart collection is just fun to make fun of. And also when I made a logo, I wanted to make it look like it's going downwards, like you're slowly running or you're pretty quickly running out of dining dollars. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess another thing is that I wrote this in Dino and Dino is a very quirky version of JavaScript. So, yeah. They even show the like index DB database. I'm not sure, but yeah, here you can see the index DB. I don't know what they're called. Uh, uh, I don't know. They're like databases, tables. Um, so it, they're mostly dining dollars. I don't think I spend. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it stores when the transaction was made, I think in milliseconds since the epoch, um, the Unix epoch, and dining the, the account, the amount, oh yeah, the amount of money that was lost or gained in the transaction and where, you, where it was spent. Um, so sometimes I think when you turn in multiple boxes at a time, um, I don't think I can show it on here, but if you turn in multiple boxes on the same day, then on at 6 a.m. on the following morning, yeah, here. No, it's not here. This is so sad. Um, but you can see that they always turn it in at 6 a.m. And the table doesn't go more precise in minutes. So, but I want to like give each transaction a unique ID. So I was using time. But the problem with using time is that if uh, it only has if it only has minute precision, then there'll be like transactions with duplicate times. Um, so what I did is, I don't know. It was, I think I overcomplicated it. I just like had to make sure I got all the transactions with the same time, and I just added like one millisecond between each uh, transaction at the same time, so that they have a unique ID. Uh, yeah. Thanks.